Got it. There are ghosts in the walls, their scorecards invisible, their applause muted. They have no CDs or chat books for sale, no watches to give you, no trophies for you to carry home, and no book deals for you to sign. Let's go. There are ghosts in the walls who don't care about how much you scream, yell, or stomp your feet. They don't care, care whether or not you memorized it or are reading it from the page. Memorizing it doesn't make it poetry. It just makes it memorized. There are ghosts in the walls ready to fight fake poets and wannabe slammers, ready to fight so-called wordsmiths who pimp their work to the highest bidder because it's about the dollar, not the dream. And money is what makes the world go round, and poetry stopped being poetry and became a product, so they put on their best labels and line up, hoping that someone will pick them up before their shelf life expires. When real poets don't have expiration dates and their currency is timeless. There are ghosts in the walls who don't want to hear your bullshit apologies, your meaningless... I'm sorry, I hope I don't offend anyone. It's, it's just poetry. I mean, there are ghosts in the walls who know you are not a poet. A poet would never apologize. A poet would never bow their head and shy from speaking the truth. If you say it, then you better make damn sure you mean it. And if you don't, then just shut up. Don't just stand there with your interminable pause waiting for the audience reaction when silence is the loudest applause your poem merited. Because you see, there are ghosts in the walls who see through your veiled attempts at saying something meaningful. They guard poetry like their life depended on it. They make brick walls their home, and broken chairs seem like fluffy couches. There are ghosts in the walls who make you forget, this is my experience, Friday nights, they make you forget that it's a Friday night in New York City and you've waited online for an hour and a half. At that time, paid $7, now probably 10 and 20 if you want one of these elite seats. And are now sitting on a dingy wood floor with people stepping on your feet, all because you heard that this, this is where poetry lives. There are ghosts in the walls who let you know that odds are you will hear poetry tonight if you're willing to listen, if you're willing to disregard the judges and look beyond the theatrics to the words, if you trust and believe that the best poet doesn't always win, you will hear poetry. If you see beyond the arms flapping and the singing, if you see beyond the lit candles spread out in the audience, if you see beyond the polished act, you will hear poetry tonight. If you just sit back and let the ghost guide you, you will hear poetry and it will become your own. There are ghosts in the walls who protect their own and let you know that fake poets don't prosper. And that walls aren't just walls, just like this ain't just a cafe. It's not just another place where people read poetry. It's not just old brick and mortar and dilapidated tables and crickety chairs and dim lighting. There are ghosts in the walls whose lifespan extends beyond the visible. Angels who watch and guide us, because this is their home. And they want to make sure that it's being taken care of. Because this just ain't another place where people get on the mic and spit. Fake poets beware. This is the New Yorican.